So this is a brief walkthrough of the calculator file that you're going to be using as your performance assessment for the abstraction module. Uh, so here's the file that I have open right here, and we're just going to kind of walk through parts of it. So the very first thing that you notice is that this is in the package calculator. There's also a common block at the top describing what this file is for. Uh, and it also imports the scanner utility, which is also going to allow you to talk to the keyboard. So you go down, it also has a, a little note here. Uh, it has my name as the author, but when you go to edit your file, you should change it to be your own name. Now we get into the actual calculator class. So this is where the file, the actual program starts. And inside, we have uh, a number of methods. This is one method. Here's another method. Uh, and another method. And then most importantly, the main method. So we're actually going to start with the main method and then work our way backwards to everything else. So the main method is the first thing that gets executed, of course. And when we go into the main method, we see that there are uh, a couple variables created right away. Uh, two integers called x and y, and then a care called op. And each of these are calling another method to get their value. So this is declaring x, and then we're instantiating it or assigning a value. And that value being assigned comes from this method called get int from user. And this method takes a parameter, the text, enter an int. Same thing with this y variable. It gets, uh, we declare y as an int, and then we assign the value that gets returned from this method, get int from user. And again, right, uh, have the, the message enter an int. The next line declares a character variable called op and then assigns a value that comes from a method called get care from user. And the input here is enter an operation symbol. The next line declares another variable, int ands, standing for answer, that equals the result of a method called solve problem that takes these three variables, x, y, and op, in as parameters. And the final output, or the final line of the code in the main method, is a print statement that prints x and a space and the operand or operation and another space, y, another space, an equal sign and the answer. So the result when you run the program looks a little bit like this. It'll ask to enter an int, let's put in five. Uh, another int, let's put in seven. And then it's asking for an operation symbol, so I'm going to put in the plus sign. Now, the final line prints 5 plus 7, so the things I entered equals 0. Now, of course, that's incorrect. Uh, so we kind of identified our problem. This method called solve problem is not written. Uh, this is your job is to fill in the code here. So uh, there's extensive commenting for the solve problem method, the get care from user method, and the get int from user method. Uh, these comments describe how these methods work. Uh, they also have tags for parameters that come in, that's the stuff going into the method, and tags for uh, what's being returned. So this is methods returning an int, this method is returning a character, and then the solve problem method is returning an int. So your job is to uh, write additional methods that are going to actually solve the mathematical problem, x and then operation y. The first thing you'll have to do is figure out what the operation symbol is. If it's a plus sign, a minus sign, divide, multiply, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then based on that, for each operation that your program can handle, uh, you'll write another method that will actually execute that, that uh, mathematical operation, return the answer back to the solve problem method, and then finally return the answer. Uh, right now, this method only returns zero, which means no matter what I put in, as my numbers and my operation. So let's put in 54, 97, and we'll put in a multiply sign. Uh, it's still gonna give me zero. So your job is to get this program to work like an actual calculator. All right, good luck.